Hey guys, in this video, I'll be talking about how to begin working from home as a bookkeeper with little or no budget, how I did it, and how easy it is for you to do too. So if we're meeting for the first time, hi, my name is Cece Crosley. I'm a work from home bookkeeper. I maintain a day job. I'm a mom, I'm a wife, and on this channel, I help provide tips and resources for current work from home bookkeepers, as well as helping guide others who have little or no experience on their journey to work at home as a bookkeeper. So if these are the things that interest you, please consider subscribing. So first and foremost, um, to those of you who um, don't have much prior experience bookkeeping, but you're interested in learning, um, I would recommend bookkeeping to uh, people who like budgeting or you like or enjoy the um, organization of finances. This is a very easy skill to learn, but if you're not good with numbers or you don't enjoy numbers, this probably wouldn't be the best industry or field to be in. So talking about benefits and beginning a business like this, um, number one is that I own this business. Um, I'm the owner and operator, so everything I'm doing, um, you know, I'm investing in myself. Um, so I get a really good ROI, a return on investment. Um, when I think about my friends and family that are doing, you know, and it's not a bad thing. This I'm definitely, I just, I think that the ROI, the return on investment is a lot higher in what I do because if you break it down with like numbers, obviously I'm a numbers person, right? Um, when they're doing an MLM, they're probably getting 20% on on their profit um, of, the, of the product that they're selling. Uh, but when you think about, you know, how much will go back into buying more products, so the cost of goods sold, um, overhead expenses, things like internet or special furniture or items that you need to help you along the way, classes, things like that. When you think about the overhead expense plus the cost of goods, I mean, you're probably cutting your 20% in half and you're really only making anywhere from like 10, maybe even 5%. Uh, back so you know that's a really small profit uh, compared to bookkeeping where you can generate either a high hourly rate I do um, and it's just it depends on how you end up charging your clients and um, the value you can bring to them. You can charge hourly, you can charge per project. I mean, it's really up to you. So you could do this full-time or part-time and you can command uh, you know, your profits uh, based on your skill level or what it is that you're offering your client. So another benefit is that um, this is a really high demand industry uh, because Every business owner in the US is required to keep track of their company's financial records. And most of the time, uh, you know, business owners or entrepreneurs that are starting small or, you know, they have a smaller niche, they're not, you know, this big uh, Fortune 500 company, they're, they're not, you know, really thinking about their books. Uh, their minds are in the profit side on, you know, bringing in money, making sales. And that's understandable because they want to bring in the money, but what they don't have is the time to organize those finances. And being a bookkeeper, that's the kind of value you provide because not only are you organizing their finances, uh, you are also helping them figure out the health of their business. Like how much do they charge? You know, should they be charging more? Should they be charging less? Um, you know, reading their financial books and and really taking a hold of what their financial health of their business looks like. That's what you provide as a bookkeeper. You know, you're not just like keeping records like this, you know, like bookkeeper sounds like you're just keeping records, but you're actually an accountant. You are, you're keeping the health of their business. So this is in demand because, you know, when tax season comes around, they need to have their taxes, um, they need to have their numbers. And when they don't have their numbers, because the, the IRS requires that, um, that's because they're not keeping their books. I mean, honestly, I cannot tell you how many jobs and projects I've done for many of my clients, um, getting them ready for tax season. So everyone pays taxes, guys. This is an in-demand job. All right, guys, let's talk startup costs. I said that you would be able to begin working at home as a bookkeeper with little or no budget. 
and that is 100% true. You can do this with bare bones minimum because I did and eventually with my profits, I, you know, I invested in myself and I upgraded uh, my software as I needed to help me grow. So you don't have to do that. You can, you can start with nothing down. Um, but you know, you do need to have, I think, these main things. And the first thing I would recommend is jumping on, you know, GoDaddy and purchasing a domain name for yourself. Like one year is 12 bucks, okay? So purchase your domain name. So cccrosley.com, that's what I got. Now after that, um, you can decide on whether or not you wanna do a website. So this part is optional, website is optional. And the reason I say it's optional is because with this service, you can you can do like a DIY website builder like Wix or something, and I think it's like $9 a month, um, I'm not sure. But you can also go with the free option, a Facebook page. Um, that is just as, you know, that suffices when you're on a budget. When you're balling on a budget, it, you know, you gotta, you gotta go with what works. And honestly, you're gonna probably have a Facebook page anyway. So why not start with that as your um, focal point? You can list your services on there. Reach out to groups, um, keep in contact with clients. Um, you can also uh, get sponsored ads. So that's a great place to start for free. All right, so that's why that part is optional. But what you use your domain name for is to get yourself a business um, email. And I used Google, Google business uh, email, I think business suite. $5 a month, guys, $5. And the reason why I recommend this is because it gives you more of a professional look. Um, when you see people using things like Hotmail or Gmail, um, those are okay. Now, um, as a consumer, I would say that, you know, it doesn't look as professional. Um, it doesn't look like they're investing in themselves. And for $5 a month, yeah, I'll invest in myself so that um, I am coming off more professional and that I'm linking, you know, info at cc.com or, you know, info at honestsmith.com, whatever your, whatever your domain name is. Link that to your, you know, $5 a month business Google email. Easy. So that's, you know, your domain, that's 12 um, and then your your five dollar Google. So all together, you've spent seventeen dollars. And now remember that your reoccurring bill will only be five dollars a month because once you buy your domain name, that's a one time purchase. It won't renew for another year. And then you can decide depending on where you're at in your business uh, if you want to renew for another year or you know two or three or five. So now you're only reoccurring five dollars a month. Third, accounting software. Um, things like QuickBooks and Xero. Now the best thing about this, guys, is when you're an accountant or a bookkeeper, you make a profile with them, and it costs zero dollars. And this is why. Because when you're working with a client that has QuickBooks or Xero, which most, most of um, my small business and entrepreneur clients do, uh, they are the ones that need to pay for their subscriptions. As a bookkeeper and accountant, you do not because they want bookkeepers and accountants to um, be a part of their software so that they can have their clients who are subscribed have somebody to reach out to. So what happens is the client with the subscription gives you the access to get into their books. So from home, from, from your internet connection, you're connecting to their book, QuickBooks Online or their Zero Online, and this is all cloud-based. So this is why you're able to do so. You don't have to go to them. I mean, some of your clients, you can offer that and be a hybrid and go, you know, work from home and then go to the location. But that, zero dollars, okay? So you get that, your client pays for the subscription, you make your profile, you pay nothing, the client ga uh, grants you access to their books for free. Now, if you're looking to begin your journey as a bookkeeper, but you don't have uh, very much experience, I created a course, Bookkeeper Bootcamp, and I'm going to provide a link below in the description for you to um, gain more working knowledge, more basic uh, working bookkeeping knowledge <laughs> uh, to begin working as a freelance bookkeeper from home. So, you know, check that link down uh, below. All right, guys, question of the day. Which accounting software do you currently use? or that you prefer. Leave me your answer in the comments section below. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button. And until next time, if you're gonna work harder, work smarter.